All right, welcome back, y'all. Let's do some exercises on the different kinds of picking that we're going to jump into. So uh, the first one that, you know, we just had our little chat about, you know, different kinds of picking exercise, uh, picking types and stuff like that. So we're going to start doing stuff to work out our, um, our little picking uh, technique here. So the first thing we're going to do is what we call alternate picking. So it's going to be the, like, bread and butter of, you know, the staccato type sound that we were chatting about earlier. So what we're going to do is going to be a setup of a downstroke and an upstroke. So downstroke is you pick down, upstroke is you pick up, right? And we're going to alternate between the two. That's why it's called alternate picking. So we're going to start with our first finger. So remember, we're going to do some fretting. This is going to be across uh, all four frets. If you struggle using your pinky, you can always bring it down to three and you can bring it down to two. I truly don't care. This is an exercise for you to build up uh, strength in your hand and also coordination between your picking hand and your fretting hand. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our first finger, put it on the first fret of the low E string, so sixth string. Um, I'll put a tab for you guys for this one as well uh, in the show notes or in the, uh, in, the, in the lesson notes. And what we're going to do is we're going to start here, downstroke on the first fret. And then we're going to move our second finger on the second fret E string, upstroke, and then third finger, third fret, downstroke, and then our pinky on the fourth fret, upstroke. So it's just that. Down, up, down, up. So you can do that again. Down, up, down, up. At the beginning, you're just gonna get a little bit of a feel for this. Now, um, don't stress if you're not getting it fast or you're not getting it super in time. Just your goal is just connection between your left hand and your right hand. Same time. Now, if you feel comfortable with those ones, you can start moving down the fretboard. And you can, uh, sorry, down the strings. So now we go on the A string. One, two, three, four. And then to the D string. One, two, three, four. G string. One, oh, sorry. One, two, three, four. And then the B string. One, two, three, four, and then the high E string. One, two, three, four. Pretty simple, right? So we're just moving through the fretboard. Down, up, down, up, down, up. That's it. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, if you want to be super, super, like, legendary, if you're like, oh, my God, I'm getting the hang of this, go backwards. So starting from four on the high E string, you're going to go, Four, three, two, one, and then go to the B string. Four, three, two, one, G string. Four, three, two, one, and then the D string. Four, three, two, one, A string. Four, three, two, one, and then E string. Four, three, two, one. Bam. And it's like a full circle. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So even you can see me, I've been playing guitar for nearly 20 years. Um, I used to do these exercises all the time. Um, you can even see my hand, I, I'm really sloppy with it. Like if I try to do this fast, I'd be super bad at it. Look, I'd be like, it just, it already slips. It's just so garbage. Um, but it's not really that that big of a, a priority for getting good at playing, right? It's just, it's a, it's a handy thing to just start getting a feel for. Eventually I will give you like cool picking uh, songs like stuff that is going to really engage your picking hand like stuff like uh, you know like uh, you could do like a song like uh, Can't Stop like you know we'll, we will do songs and we'll practice our picking through that or you guys can request songs and be like hey I really want to play X song can we turn it into an exercise and then you request I will make them into exercises for you and we can learn them learn those songs together by the way i don't have a huge library of of these kinds of songs so if you guys have things that you're like i would really love to play this and you're a beginner do not be shy jump into the chat jump into school comment let me know if i know i can put something in it takes me like 10 minutes to quickly like figure it out and then i can turn it into an exercise and i'll make a quick video for you guys and then everyone will benefit from that knowledge because some people might really like that song too and they would love to just give it a try as like as a picking exercise similar to how we did you know the single note of like 
So all you would do with that song is you just go down, up, down, up. You just do the alternate picking. Super easy, right? So now you can practice your alternate picking while playing a song. And instead of you being like, exactly, and that's my whole point. Anyway, so that's the first exercise. That's for alternate picking. Now, the next exercise I want you guys to do is going to be the hammer on and the pull off exercise. Now, for this one, we're just going to go on the fifth string, uh, sorry, on the high E string on the fifth fret. So we put our first finger here. Now, the technique of hammer ons and pull offs is simply you are smacking your finger down onto the fret. And when you're smacking down on the fret, always remember the same thing with the with every fret attempt that you do. Always aim for the end of the fret, so between the middle and the end of the fret to get the best sound. And what you're going to do is it's it's squeezing in. It's not just smacking down with your finger. It's squeezing with your thumb into the fretboard. I'm I'm going like this. Ka 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 ka. That's like the what my muscles are engaging in, and so that's what we want to be doing there. And so what you'll do is you'll play the fret, you'll play the fifth fret, and then you push down on the sixth fret with your second finger. Then you're going to play the fifth fret again, and then you're going to push down with on the seventh fret with your third finger, so your ring finger. And then you're going to play the fifth fret, and then you get your pinky on the eighth fret. So you got. Five, six, five, seven, five, eight. Now you'll do this again and you just start on a different note. So you start on your second finger and you hammer on to the uh, seventh fret, six, and then hammer on to the eighth fret. And then the last one will be starting on the seventh fret with your third finger. That's a bit of a tricky one. Third finger to pinky. So it's not a big deal if you can't do it. Now, so that's... That is the hammering on portion of this. So, and then now the pull off is slightly different. So, the pull off, what you want to do, this is a bit more classical oriented, but the the start of pull off technique, you want to get used to doing a bit more classical oriented, which is you're going to play the note and you're going to pull the finger into your hand. So, when, say I've got it here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm pulling into my hand. I'm not pulling off. I'm not going like, like pulling off like that. I'm pulling into my hand. So it's like, so you're like, like that. That's how you're doing it. So you want to pull your finger in, pull the string towards your hand, but use your first finger, the anchor. Make sure that's down really, really like strong because you don't want the string to move because if the string moves, the pitch changes. So you want to just have it locked in and then you pull off and then seventh fret and then eighth fret to five. And then you're going to move your anchor is going to be now on the sixth fret with the, with the middle finger and you'll go there and then you got your pinky and then we're going to do the next one, which will be starting on the seven and you're going to go up. So you can see here what I'm doing is I've got playing the note, the high note, pulling off down to the previous note. Starting on the seventh fret, pulling off to the five. Eight, five. So you've got a hammer on, which is starting five on, and then you pull off. So you can hear that. And then. And that's, that's all hammer on pull offs are. Now, the last thing we're going to do is finger picking. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, oh. <coughs> Sorry, I am, I am still sick. So I just can't help. I can't help being sick. Um, but finger picking, uh, what we're going to do is I just want you to just start playing, getting a feel for what it feels like to touch the strings. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up our first finger on the G string, so the third string. Middle finger will be on the B string, the second string. And our third finger, the ring finger, will be on the first string, the high E. 
And our thumb is going to be alternating between all the bass strings. So the low E, the A, and the D. And then one, two, three. So we got, you're going to play the low E string and you're going to go E, G, B, E. Now you can see with my hand set up, you want to think thumbs up and then turn. And that's how you finger pick. Thumbs up, bring it here. And that's how you want to do. You want your thumb separated from your fingers. Um, you want a bit of distance. And when you're plucking, your thumb is pushing into the next string. So it's, it's, it's what we call a rest stroke in classical music, but it's a really good way to start building the habit and the, or the feel of it. So you just want to push down into the string. You don't want to pull on the strings. So you push down into the string and then into the next one to rest. Also, for this instance, we're starting in the sixth string, so just like that. Very easy. And then when you're plucking with your fingers, you want to pluck into your palm. So they're all pluck, they're all plucking into my palm like that. So you thumbs up, hands pluck in like that. That's how I'm plucking the strings. All right, so we're just going to get a, vi a vibe of this. So you're going to play the, uh, the, the low E, then G, B, E. And then when you feel comfortable with that, drop the thumb down to the A string, and you're going to go A, G, B, E. And then when you're done with that one, try the fourth string, so the D string, and you're going to go D, G, B, E. So just get, get into that feeling. And have a bit of fun. You can either pluck them together, swap the orders, have fun to do whatever you want. Like honestly, when it comes to exercises, just have fun. So you could go one, two, three, four. So you go thumb, one, two, three. I'm talking about the order of the fingers that I'm using. So thumb, one, two, three. Or I could go thumb, three, two, one. Or I could go thumb, two, one, three. Thumb, two, three, one. You know, or all together. Just have fun and see how you go. So those are the exercises. You got your alternate picking one. You got your hammer on pull off one, just to start feeling this. Uh, and then you got your finger picking. Now, none of these are super required. I was just making this little section just to make sure that you guys are at least trying something or can get a feel for it and be like, okay, Luan hasn't led us astray. Um, but truly, my goal is to get you guys playing music as soon as possible. So the next section, we are going to start strumming. Uh, we're going to start getting into surrounding some songs uh, and getting a feel for what it, it feels like, what what the feeling of playing a song should feel like. So without further ado, I'm going to end this video and I shall catch you guys in the next one. See you soon.